Hey guys, it's Tanya and I am back for another update. It's been um, about, th I think, three weeks since I came in. I've had a bunch of stuff happen in between then and now and I'll kind of catch you up real quick and then get to the thing I really want to talk about. One, I'm super, super, super excited that um, uh, Phil Olson asked me to be um, a panelist on the YouTube panel at WLSFA in Portland this year. Um, WLSFA is the uh, Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America and they raise money to give scholarships to people who can't afford to have either weight loss surgery or plastic surgery. So I'm, um, I was a panelist last year and I'm super excited to be a panelist this year um, along with Lauren from Lauren Losing and um, Angela from Los Angeles Found. Jane's from uh, C. Jane's Shrink and uh, Drea, Andrea from um, Drea's, Drea's VSG or Drea VSG? Yeah, Drea VSG, sorry. Um, so some fantastic um, uh, vets and newbies. Um, so it's gonna be a fun time. If you can make it, this will be my sixth WSFA event. So I'm a really big advocate of the organization. Um, so that's that's like my first big thing on uh, good news um a couple of days after my last video i was in a car accident i was hit by a drunk driver um sitting at a red i was sitting at a red light and she rear-ended me my kids were with me um everybody's fine i'm dealing with some neck and back muscle spasms um, as a result but it could have been way 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 worse i'm in a rental car because uh almost three weeks out and i still don't have my car back so it is being repaired hopefully i'll get it back this week what else? Okay, so last week, I, um, well, a couple weeks ago, uh, I was talking to some people. I'm an admin in the Adapting to Keto Facebook group, and which is growing, like, exponentially. And we were talking about figuring out your macros, like how many calories you should take in, and um, your fat, protein, um, carb. <laughs> Carbs are not that part, big part of my life, so I forgot about carbs. But figuring out my macros, and part of the, uh, the calculation is knowing your lean body mass or guesstimating your lean body mass. And um, when I was using certain calculators, it was coming up like 31.5% body fat or more. And I, you know, I kept saying, well, I don't think that, I feel like that's not really right for me. I feel like I have more muscle than what this is giving me back. So one of, um, one of the guys in the group, Mike, said to um, I should get a DEXA scan. And I was like, oh, where do I go for that? So I start, started searching for it. And I happened to have searched in the past looking for body fat um, places. And there's a place that's close to my house. But I actually found at the university that I work for that we had a study going on for a bone density um, study. And part of that study, they do a DEXA body scan. And of course, I don't have what DEXA means off the top of my head, but I will put that in the description. So I contacted the study and they got me signed up and I went last week and had my DEXA scan done. The first good thing out of it, which is the whole point of the study, is for bone density, to know what your chances are of having broken bones um, due to bone density problems. And they test my whole body, my spine, my hip, and my left forearm. And all of the readings came back in the green zone, which means I'm at a very low risk for um, breaking a bone. And normally they, they do these tests on women, I think it's after you get to age 60 or maybe 65, something like that. So it's kind of nice to have that now, so when you, you know, you have a chance to do something about it if you, um, if they do find you have a problem. The other part of the DEXA scan is where they actually scan your whole body and they measure your lean body mass and your fat mass and it gives you your percent of body fat from it. So, and this is kind of like, I'm gonna put some pictures in, but just to kind of give you a thing, and then it gives you a reading. And down here is the reading where it breaks out your percent of body fat by parts, different parts of your body. So I was very pleased to find out that my body fat, my total body fat percentage was 28%. And I think the normal, the average range, not normal, the average range for or the normal range for a woman, I wanna say it's like, um, the max, I can't remember what the low is, but the max is 29%. So I'm in the normal range, which that makes me very happy because for BMI standard, um, my weight's been staying between 173 and 175, very, very pleased with that. But that is about 15 pounds higher than the normal range for BMI standards, which always irritates me. But, um, 
after I had the scan done and they went over all the results with me, what she said was like, yeah, you're in the overweight category. She said, but that's really due to you having a lot more muscle mass than um, the average woman at your age. So she's like, it's not a bad thing. You're, it's really a really good thing. So, um, which I already kind of felt like was the truth, but it's nice to have a, an actual medical professional read this kind of scan and say that exact thing to me. So I was extremely excited when I finished this. But as I took some time to really read the results, I had some observations that I thought would be really useful for weight loss surgery pa patients, people who have lost a significant amount of weight and who have um, loose skin still um, because of it. So my overall body fat percentage was 28%. My head, <laughs> my, my head was only 24%, so I don't have a fat head. <laughs> um, my trunk, like the trunk of my body was 23.7, which is excellent. My right arm is 39.4% body fat. And a lot of times people will say, oh, your arms look so good. But my arms have a lot of loose skin and I'm pretty good at masking it and not displaying the loose skin. But in this video, I'm gonna show you why my arm, yeah, my, my right arm was the absolute largest percent of body fat of my body. So I'm gonna show you my right arm. So like I have muscle, you can see like when I flex, I have muscle in there, but I also have all of this fat that are loose skin. And I mean, obviously I know it could be a lot worse, but I have all, and you can see when I shake, I got bat wings. Underneath here, I have lots of side boob stuff going on. Um, my left arm was a little bit better. I think it was 34.8%, but again, this is the one thing that really bothers me in exercise class because I always wear tank tops and exercise when I do my classes. And um, it bothers me to see that skin hanging. And I know I have a lot of muscle in my arms. I mean, you can see from the outside when I flex. I mean, I got my, my triceps show when, when I'm flexing this way. I have lots of muscle in my arms, but all of that loose skin um, distorts the numbers. And you know, I think that if I had the brachioplasty to have that removed, that number would go from like 39.4% probably to a more reasonable number, somewhere in the low 30s, maybe the high 20s, I don't know. Um, same thing with my thighs, my, my legs weren't as bad. My right leg was 32.2%, my left leg was 31.3%, but my arms were by far um, the worst. And um, so what I thought about that was if you were somebody who did not have plastic surgery, you had no plans to have plastic surgery, and you had one of these um, studies done, that I want you to know that that loose skin definitely distorts the numbers. No matter how much muscle you have, if you have a lot of loose skin, if you're somebody who was overweight for most of their life and their skin was stretched out for a long period of time and it did not bounce back, you're going to have higher numbers. It, it Even... The DEXA scan tells the truth, but it doesn't tell the whole story. Um, if we could all make all that loose skin and disappear and uh, we had never been heavy and our skin was very elastic and we hadn't overproduced the fat cells when we were young, um, the numbers would be very different. So that was a big observation. Um, the last thing I wanted to say was um, they tested the um, visceral adipose tissue and they said a normal, what they look for is anything, um, a score of 100 or below, and my score was 76.7. So she said that's excellent, that the, there's very, um, there's a, a normal to very good amount, like a low amount of um, visceral fat around your organs. So that's another good, like healthy uh, reading. So um, that's, that was my, analysis uh what i'm what i'm thinking about doing is as i work on my fitness some more maybe having another run another test run in maybe six months and see if i build any muscle if i lose any fat um so we'll see it depends on what i do with my fitness i'm not gonna the next one i do i'll have to pay for it. this one i didn't even have to pay for it. not only did i not have to pay for it they gave me a 25 dollars walmart gift card for participating in the study so this was like a super bonus thing finding this by chance the normal studies um if you want to go have one done they can range from like 75 to 100 100 plus dollars so um i won't have one done unless i really feel like i've made some major progress 
but um, yeah, it's good to know. I'm going to put some pictures in at the end, just showing you some of the readings from the test so you can see some of the details. It's not going to be crystal clear, but and I, I tried to blank out anything that had any personal information for me, um, but just as a, an FYI for you to look into. I'm still doing keto hardcore i was trying to do i think the last time i came in i talked about doing dairy free i did go dairy free for five days i lost like four pounds in five days which was kind of crazy um i have not been dairy free since i um got gifted some um cheese and um salamis and things uh, from john for valentine's day and so i'm making my way through that cheese and then i'm going to try doing uh some dairy free again after that i am still doing my black coffee little bit of cream every now and again as a treat but pretty much I've phased into black coffee and I'm um, just doing great holding steady with my uh, my weight loss I'm maintaining the weight that I lost and pretty happy with where I am so I hope y'all are doing great go out this week and make it happen